Hi, welcome back uh, to On The Road with Animal Capture UK. Uh, today uh, we're heading north to Whitehaven to uh, once again work with Canine Capture UK to recapture an escaped dog. So we're gonna phone Kay in a little while and just find out a little bit more about it. But I have to say just a little bit about Canine Capture UK. I've worked with this group now for uh, over three years and uh, it's just amazing what uh, the members of the group are prepared to put in to bring these uh, animals back into safety. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a level of commitment and professionalism and dedication to uh, ensuring that uh, these dogs that are sometimes in great danger out there are brought back into, uh, into loving care of their owners or the rescue who uh, is caring for them. So. Um, Let's find out a little bit more about this one. Hello. Hi, okay. It's Mike speaking. How are you doing? Hello, Mike. I'm fine, thank you. You? Not too bad. How far away are you? Uh, we still have another 157 miles to go. Oh, you're quite Two and a half hours. You're, you're a wee bit behind me then, anyway. But uh, yeah. okay, just to uh, just want to get a sense of uh, what we're dealing with here. Uh, as always, it's nice to sort of uh, have some uh, prior information about uh, the type of animal that we're we're going to. Uh, hopefully catch this evening. Uh, yeah. So what can you tell me about Doris? Okay, Doris is a nine, ten year old Romanian uh, rescue ex-breed dog. She came over to her, uh, well initially a foster, she was with her for three, four weeks. Um, the lady fell in love with her and decided to adopt her. She went out into the garden just one day, bearing in mind she's only been there three or four weeks, um, and a neighbour pulled up with a big war exhaust car and was revving it apparently outside, and that was enough to spook Doris into bolting over the hedge and the fence in the corner of the garden, yeah. back in some woods. Yeah. Is this uh, going to be another night time one then, uh, Kay? Yes. I expect Doris to turn up any time between, say, 10 p.m. and midnight. Okay. Um, hopefully, she will be earlier. Yeah. Um, that, that's the plan. I mean, it's nice weather, it's dry, it's quite warm, so yeah. there's no real reason why she'll hang on tonight. But I think the picked is the favourite. Good. Well, we're looking forward to it, Kay, working with you guys again. And uh, I will be there about quarter to six, so uh, I shall have a little sleep yeah. while I'm waiting for you. <laughs> have a sleep. We'll see you in two and a half hours. See you in a while. Bye. Okay. Bye. Take care. Bye. So there we have it. We have uh, an idea of what we're likely to be up against. Uh, you know, all the, all these uh, rescue dogs, they're all very, very uh, sensitive. And the, the method that we're going to use to catch it is it's been tried and tested we've used it now this is the 24th time that we will have used RCI to recapture uh, lost dogs and uh, there is no reason why it shouldn't work we you know we can never predict how these things are going to go but all we can do is make sure that we've done everything that we possibly can to make sure that the job is a success so stay with us and we'll keep an eye on on how it all unfolds and hopefully We'll take you with us as far as we can. Right. Well, I've arrived in Whitehaven. We're in position. And uh, Doris is expected to turn over around between half nine and midnight. So uh, hopefully soon after half past nine, 
Uh, we should be able to get a dart into her and then start the tracking process. So, uh, it's hoping. Stay with us and uh, see how the whole thing unfolds. Now everybody's in position and the light is failing now. It's, it's getting on pretty much dark and so we've just got to wait until Dice turns up. Could be a long wait, could be uh, within the next half an hour. So it's uh, radio silence all around and we're waiting for the moment. Some tense moments there with uh, Doris getting spooked on the corner uh, about half past ten and then she returned spooked sorry not spooked she found the camera uh, not by seeing it but by smelling it so some tense moments there but now finally Doris is safe and at home so we're all relieved really happy and pretty tired so we're all off off home another successful canine capture animal capture collaboration thank you really to everybody who donated to help get Doris home um, doesn't matter how far we have to go we always do what we need to do and it's a wonderful result and to have been able to raise the money so quickly to get Doris home where she belongs is just amazing so thank you to everybody who donated well that was a very challenging but successful evening Doris is a very clever girl, but I think the team did well to respond to what Doris thought of the whole situation as the evening unfolded. Doris is home, she's safe, so we're all very happy, but it wouldn't have been possible without everybody who contributed to the fundraiser. I know it's quite a difficult time for everybody at the moment, but you have contributed to help Doris get out of her difficult time, so it's very much appreciated. Without you, it wouldn't be it wouldn't have happened and Doris wouldn't be safe back at home now so thank you very much everybody your trust and support is very much appreciated Well, what a night. It's just after 3.30 in the morning. We've finally uh, done what we came to do, which is bring Doris back into safety uh, using uh, the CCUK team and remote chemical injection technology. I just have to say, I'm just blown away by the, the level of commitment, the care, 
compassion and the determination that you see in these, uh, these people who are part of the CC UK team. Um, I don't know what Doris would have done had she stayed out there much longer. You know, she's already looks like she's had a hard time uh, out there. So we're over the moon that she's now safe and back in uh, the loving custody of Rebecca. And it's just a testament to the fact that making the right decisions at the right time will save so many of these dogs from um, potential um, harm out there in the, in the wide world with no protection. But thanks to everybody who uh, made the effort and um, have helped to make this a success. And uh, it's now 3.40 in the morning and I'm away. I drive back down to Hampshire and to get some sleep. Thank you.